And welcome to another Coach's Corner. I'm Rick Silvestrini, joined by Drake men's uh, cross-country coach Mark Carroll. And uh, Mark, the season just finished last weekend up in Ames, NCAA Midwest Regional. Let's talk about your men's performance first. 16 out of 28 teams, pretty good showing up there. Yeah, Rick, we're very happy with it. Uh, 16th, we were up a few places from last year. Um, we didn't have Josh Yeager. He had, had a few injury issues over the last couple of weeks, so we decided to rest him for mm -hmm. that. You know, probably would have taken us even closer towards the top 10 finish. Um, but nonetheless, very, very good performance overall uh, in, in pretty cold conditions on Friday. Yeah, and it was, it was a long race as well. Um, talk about the improvement of the, of the men's team from the start of the season up until last Friday. Yeah, the teams got better and better like right up to the Missouri Valley Championships. Um, you know, we saw a lot of PRs with the team and obviously an overall team improvement on the men's side after the championships finishing mm -hmm. fifth. And then, of course, the regional meet being 2K longer, the guys handled the, the challenge well. We had a lot of personal best uh, times for 10K, so it seems like the, the men's team is, uh, you know, taken to the training quite well. Sure, that's good. On, on the women's side, uh, 31st place, but senior Bailey Kofer, uh, she finished top 100 out of 225 runners. That's right, Bailey, uh, yeah, she broke into the top 100, had a huge personal best, as did every lady on the team. Um, the overall team score, you know, 31st uh, overall, we would like to have been higher, but unfortunately, we didn't have Michaela Cole, who's had some injury issues mm -hmm. as well. Michaela's been in our top three scorers most of the season, sure. so that hurt us a little bit in terms of the overall. But when your entire team runs personal best, and you know that's improvement, right? Ex <laughs> exactly. You know, again, just taken to the training and buying into the to the program, and I think we'll see big improvements next year and beyond. So now that the cross country season is over, you move into the indoor track season. So talk about the schedule moving forward here. Yeah, our first meet will be December 8th up at Iowa State, and it's going to be either a three-way or a four-way competition with uh, Iowa State, uh, Northern Iowa, I believe Bradley was the other team, okay. and, and ourselves. So um, so that will be a good start. It's not a full um, uh, event, so, you know, we're going to limit it somewhat, but uh, it'll be a good stopping point. It's close by, and, you know, the team has been training very, very well throughout the fall, all event areas, and, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see where we are on December 8th, and then, of course, we'll have to carry that through the Christmas break. Right. And, uh, we go to Lincoln, Nebraska on January 12th, 13th, and, and the indoor season will kick off for real uh, then. So I'm sure those track athletes are kind of anxious to get anxious to get going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For the you know for the sprints, jumps, throws, you know, they, they those groups put in a lot of work over the fall, and they don't get to go to competition on, right. unlike cross country. So they're just waiting, waiting, and anxious to get going. And we can see in training, uh, Rick already. You know, he's beginning to sharpen up. You know, they've come off their conditioning phase and they've started to get a little bit more event specific. And you can mm -hmm. see it, and you can just see the energy in the group. You know, they're just itching to go on. You know, well, it won't be long indeed. Well, congratulations on the cross country season and good luck heading into the indoor season. Thank you, Rick. Okay, that's Mark Carroll, head cross country and track coach here at Drake University. I'm Rick Silvestrini, and this has been another Coach's Corner.